Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a review of set number 40123, The Thanksgiving Feast on Thanksgiving. As I mentioned, the set number to the Thanksgiving Feast is 40123. It has 158 pieces and is ages 7 plus. The set comes with two minifigures, this holiday cart, as well as the vinaigrette scene. The first minifigure we're going to take a look at is the grandpa minifigure. My favorite part of this minifigure is the gray hair. I've never seen this gray hair piece in LEGO before, so I just think that's very neat. I'm not a big fan of the face because the color of the beard doesn't actually match up with the color of the hair, so I think they could have done better there. The sweater with the front and back printing is pretty self-explanatory, and then there's nothing to say about the dark bluish gray pants. The grandma or the older lady is also a very neat figure. I really like the different hair piece used in this one. Again, it is gray with the ponytail on the back. The face definitely matches up a little bit better this time, but it's still not perfect. The torso here looks really neat with the front and the back printing. Very, very cool. It looks like a princess torso. And then there's the normal red pants. This little cart that the minifigures can push around with the turkey and some other food on it is pretty neat. On the bottom here it has some wheels. And up above, there's just a little shelf where the pie can sit, so nothing gets set on top of it. Up above even more, there's the last shelf where the turkey and then a bowl of a big apple sits. Interesting side note, I think this is the first set I have that comes with a red apple. There is a stud on the cart where you can put this turkey on. I'm gonna state my honest opinion here. I think this looks a little boring with what the minifigures put in front. There is a lot of detail, but it definitely looks better with the minifigures. Here in the center of the room is this table. As you can see, there's a tablecloth dangling over the one side with like little teeth. In the center, there's a big pumpkin as well as two wine glasses. There's also these studs, and according to the picture on the box, you can put the wine glasses there and the wine bottle in the center. Where does the food go? Off to the back of the wall here, here it looks like we have this old antique cabinet. These doors do actually open up, but if you don't have nails like me, you're not gonna get it open. In the little cabinet is just a bottle of wine. There's a neat use of jumper plates here to make it look like drawers. On this other side here, we have a planter with a plant growing out of it, and then we have this button on the wall. Up above here, built into the wall, is this shelf with what looks like potions in it, but it's not Halloween, so I'm not sure what they are. Maybe fancy glasses or something like that. Unlike any of the other seasonal Lego models that I've seen this year, this one actually has detailing on the back that is really important to look at. I was pretty surprised when I saw this detailing because, as I said, none of the other 2015 sets have it. On this side here, as you can see, there are four hooks, one for this pitchfork and one for the shovel, and then two for some tools you don't get in the set. Up above here is another built-in wall shelf with some more of these creepy looking containers. Along the whole side of the wall here is this autumn colored leaf thing with some leaves still hanging on. It looks like they're dying off though because winter is coming. Thanks for watching this review of 40123, The Thanksgiving Feast. I really hope you enjoyed this set. This is a pretty neat little set, and I really hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thanks so much for watching this BrickLover18 LEGO video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to subscribe for all LEGO all the time, click the subscribe brick and you'll subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more of our previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there containing all our videos. If you want to see more BrickLover18, head on over to BrickLover18.com where you'll find the links to our Twitter and our Instagram and our Brooklyn. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like on this video as well as a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe brick. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope you have a great day.